Tonight I'm going to be doing a couple of Christmas songs with my guitarist Sandy and a couple of my own songs. And um, yeah, just hoping to get everyone in the festive spirit, which means spreading happiness and cheer and peace and love. And that's why I love Christmas, because it just feels like a magical time of year where everyone, um, yeah, is just giving a lot of love, which I think just makes everyone happier. I absolutely love Christmas. Again, I just think because it's a magical time and I know that my um, birthday is really, really close to it. But um, I actually love that because after Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's, I think I'd probably be sad that all the, the celebrations are over. But because my birthday's coming on the 12th of Jan, then I just still have more to look forward to. So winter is a good time of year for me. Well, after th this new single, Won't Forget You, there's lots more new music to come. And um, I think, yeah, just as I get older and, yeah, I think it's, that's pretty much literally it because I get older, probably my music just matures a bit. And, um, yeah, I'm always up for experimenting and trying new sounds and stuff. So, yeah, I'm sure there'll be something different. That, that might surprise people that will come out soon. But I guess this song, Won't Forget You, is very much pop, uplifting, fun to perform, hopefully gets the crowd going, which is what we want to do later. Um, so that still has a, a big fun element, which a lot of my older music has in it as well. I think I could never... Um you know, be ungrateful that the first singles did so well because it was such a great start. Um, but I never like to feel a pressure ever with new releases and stuff because the whole industry's changed so much and the way that charts work have changed so much. And as long as I can keep putting out new music and getting to perform, doing lots of gigs and shows like this, then I'll be super happy. It was lovely watching you on The Voice and seeing how endearing you were towards the young children and mm -hmm. that young talent coming through. I guess you have an affinity with them. Yeah, definitely. I have a lot of empathy for the young kids. I think just because the process of all the auditions that they're doing is exactly the sort of stuff that I did at their age. And it just reminds me of my youth and it makes me feel young. And I just love being around the talent of them because they're like mind-blowingly good. And I think that they're better than the adults. Definitely. I think it just reminded me of when I was younger and that sheer love of just going on the stage and performing because you love music and you love singing and they they had no sort of agenda or they, were not, they weren't sort of, you know, they're new to the whole industry and the business so they were so like bright-eyed and excited and I think I want to try and keep that energy with me as long as possible. I think it's really important to have variety and I'm sort of obsessed with being as rounded as a performer as possible so coming out of my comfort zone and learning new skills within the entertainment business I'll only ever be really interested in things that are performance based and entertainment so dancing singing acting performing I do love fashion as well so I dip into that every now and then um but yeah, I'm just, I want to be as, as rounded as performer as possible. So I'll take on any challenge that sort of helps me do that. Um, I'd love to wish everyone in Sunderland a very Merry Christmas and amazing New Year. And thank you very much for having me do the honour of switching your Christmas lights on this year. 